Yeah, this is Nathan Coleman here. April 5th, 1.25 p.m. I just woke up today thinking about life and what everything means. And, you know, I can't lie. I catch myself. I'm sitting here praying. <clears throat> And I'm like talking as if I'm talking to God, whoever God is. And I just find myself more and more just saying that whatever God that everyone thinks is God, I really don't believe is God. Like this God that says that you're going to go to hell when you die. And I just, I can't accept that. I can't accept that no more in my life. And there's just too many unanswered questions and stuff for me. To be sitting here begging a God, you know, and I was just saying to myself that, <clears throat> yeah, when we die, everyone's going to be begging for mercy. Everybody's going to be like, Lord, please help me. I don't want to die right now because we're scared. It's all a fear thing. It's all about fear. And yes, if there is a God I am completely scared of that being if it exists because if it made all this and it made me well then what can it do with me but why why would why would a god even create a hell why would god even put us in a situation where we could go to hell I don't believe that at all. I believe it's complete. It's ludicrous. It's nonsense. It's insanity. People that think this shit. And it, frankly, it makes me mad to think about this stuff. Because listen, why would I, as a human being, why would I make something for it to go to shit or go to hell. I never want to make anything. Like when I make a beat, I want to make the best beat. I want to make a beat that is going to have rhythm. It's going to have soul. You know, you know what I mean? It's going to have that, that jump and that bounce to it and stuff that people can feel. I'm not going to... um sit here and think, oh, well, I'm going to throw it out and I'm going to put it in a place of torment. Like, and, and I think there's so many people in this country and all around the world, they are so caught up in working their way to heaven, so to speak, that that's what their life is based upon. Like, what are you here for? I'm, I'm sure if God exists, I'm sure he doesn't want you begging him his whole life. Or begging him your whole life or whatever it is. If it's God, it, it can't be us. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just completely confused. See, this is why I block all this stuff out. I block all this stuff out because I don't need to think about it because it's all it does is it torments me and it makes me think stupid stuff. So why am I going to do that? And I never know what I'm going to say in these videos, but I'm making these as 
a way to vent to myself and to other people because this video might not be seen for years, months. I don't know when this video will be seen. It might not ever be seen, but, and I'm cold. So if I'm shaking right now, I'm cold. I'm, I don't got a coat on. I did this. I should have put a jacket on or something. But if God's real, all I ever wanted was I don't want to say peace. I just I wanted the best for everybody, whatever path that was. You know what I mean? I I love competition you know i i believe in competition but i don't believe in war i don't i don't believe in killing one another but i believe in you know like basketball football yeah stuff like that if that's what you want to do then you do it if you don't you don't but there's just a lot of ridiculous shit that I used to think, and I'm just coming to terms with it now, and I'm just thinking how ridiculous it all was. I mean, it just to sit here and just think about, and there's so many people that believe this this God in the Bible that if you don't believe, and, and, and this word believe, what does that even mean anyway? Everybody believes in something. And I, I don't know. I just don't know. It's just people don't figure out stuff for themselves. For themselves they, they don't they don't do it and see me I've been searching myself and who I am and the more that I find out who I am the more uncomfortable I become because I'm finding out new stuff that I never was and and never thought and I don't want to go through that but that's what I'm going through But my whole life, I was raised with this, oh, what it says in the Bible, and, well, you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't say that, you should be this, you shouldn't be that, it's, it's all another person's opinion, it's their view on it. And I just, I don't live by that. I don't live by that. And I never will. I never will. And if there is a God and he's, I keep saying he, because see, that's what I've been trained to think about. But why would God be a he with, you know, a he is, is a man with a penis, balls, you know what I mean? And a woman, a wom man is a woman with a vagina and breasts. So why would why would God be a he then? You know, and I just I sit here and ask myself this, and I know what I say it sounds stupid too. This is all stupid. Religion, this whole God religion let us pray thing all you're doing is you're meditating when you pray because i did it before i did it for a year and a half i didn't watch tv i didn't go places where people were doing anything i didn't go to bars i didn't do none of that i i meditated i went to work i came home i was living at my aunt's for a while 
And this was before I messed up on drugs again and got back into the whole thing back in 2011. It's 2019 now, April 5th, but... Even back then, something was still not right with the whole thing. Like, going to church on Sunday, I never wanted to go. It just always was like, this ain't right. This It's, it's not supposed to be like this. It just shouldn't be like this. You know, it just, I, I felt that everyone was hypocrites. And even I felt like the biggest hypocrite when a song would come on or something. I didn't even sing it because I felt so hypocritical to what I was doing. It wasn't me. But yeah, about the meditation thing. All prayer is, is meditation. You're meditating and you're doing something to your brain. You're doing something to your head that's telling you Calm down. Everything's going to be fine. And then you get this feeling of peace, of a sense of relief. And then you say it's God. Oh, God did that. Oh, the Lord is good because I sat and meditated and now I feel better. It's in your head. It's all in your head. And like I said before, if there is a God then what is the boundaries between what you feel in your head and to what God's doing? Do you understand what I'm saying? A lot of people can't grasp what a lot of us people like me are saying and like atheists. I don't don't know if I can call myself an atheist because... It's not that I don't quite think that there's something. It, it's, see, this is where my struggle is. Because I'm not with all the worldly nonsense Christianity stuff that goes around. I'm not in all that. Like, I'm my own. Like, you're your own. But, like, where is the boundaries? I don't think a lot of people are understanding what atheists are talking about and what people like me are talking about. Like if if you have stuff in your mind and, and you're you're thinking something and, and something happens, then right away you say that's God. How do you know that's God? You don't know that's God. You're just saying it's God. That's your opinion. You know, right when something good happens, oh, it's God. Right when something bad happens, oh, God wanted it to be that way for some reason. Listen listen to how nuts that sounds. Listen to how not right that sounds. <laughs> Why would God do something good but then something bad? That That makes him a contradiction. And that's how the Bible is. The Bible is a complete contradiction. And that that's a whole nother story. But anyway, I woke up this morning. I want to end this video before 15 minutes because for some reason I can't download more than 15 minute videos. It messes up. But I am not completely better. I'm never completely better, but when I wake up and I say, you know, this is a load of crap and I just, I start venting and I start thinking for myself instead of what man and woman and, and preachers and other people, I don't even call them preachers. They're, they're just people what what they tell me i go off what i believe and think so do the same and see what happens for you stop believing this nonsense cuz i think it's nonsense april 5th nathan coleman 2019 later